Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this very catchy song called um, Blue by Eiffel 65. It's super catchy this theme. Okay, if you didn't know the name, you probably heard of this tune though. So check it out. I'm going to teach you the main theme in this lesson. It goes like this. Okay, check it out. It goes like this. Hey. Okay, but anyway, let's go ahead and learn it. Okay, so it goes like this. All right, let's break it up into parts. This song is actually pretty easy to learn once you understand the um, patterns and how many parts there are. Okay, but anyway, all right. So the first part it goes like this. Okay, the first part starts with this A here, so middle C is here. For reference, we go up to this A, starting on this A. So it goes A, and then B flat down to D, up to G, up to B flat. C down to F A B flat. Okay, that's the right hand for the first part. And once you get that for the right hand for the first part, uh, okay, one more time. Okay, so it goes like this. Okay, so it goes A B flat D G B flat C F A B flat. Okay, so that's the right hand for the first part. Okay, so make sure you get it smoothly. Like that, okay? So the A at the start is held for a bit longer, so it goes like that, okay? So we correspond to the original lyrics. Okay, that's not the lyrics, but yeah, so you get the point though, it corresponds exactly to the rhythm like that. Okay, but anyway, once you get that for the right hand, the left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords for the first part, they are G minor, which is G, B flat, D. Followed by the second chord is F major, which is F, A, C. Alright, so with these two chords in mind, so G minor followed by F major, the two hands together goes like this, okay? Right hand starts with the A and then B flat and G minor together. C and F major together. Like that, and that's it for the first part. One more time for the first part, so it goes like this. Like that, pretty simple. Together, together. Just like that. I like this first part, and once you get the first part, let's move on to the second part, all right? So the second part goes like this, okay? So right hand, it continues, goes G, B flat, D, E flat, down to G, up to D, C, like that. All right, one more time. So it goes like this. G, B flat, D, E flat, G, D, C, like that, okay? So once you get that, let me see, okay, yeah, one more time, so it goes like this. Yeah, okay, so really, you can't really do any good, for like, a fingering that actually morphs back into the original, like, loop, okay? But anyway, just, yeah, remember the notes, so you just go G, B flat, D, E flat, G, D, C, like that. All right, so that's the right hand for the second part. Once you get that for the right hand, the left hand, the two chords here, uh, they are E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat followed by C minor, which is C, E flat, and G. All right, so with these two chords in mind, so E flat major followed by C minor, the two hands together goes like this, so it goes E flat major by itself, right comes in, E flat and C minor together, like that. One more time, so it goes like this, here, together, like that. All right, so that's the second part, like that. Okay, so that is the second part. The second part, what is this? Second part, okay, so, yeah, so, this really simple thing because the first and second part actually kind of like um, repeats itself for a total of three times, but it's the first part, you don't do the A once you repeat it for the second time and the third part time, so it's like this. So the first time is the only time you press the A, so it goes like this, it goes A and then do it. Back to the first part, but this time start on the B flat. Repeat it for third time. Like that, okay, so do you get it? So basically, 
um, the first two parts is repeated for a total of three times, okay? But the once you play the first time with the A, you don't play the A again for the second and third time. So remember, okay? Play it one more time for you guys so you understand what I'm talking about. So the first time we start on the A, and after that we don't do it anymore. So it goes A, repeat. After you do that for the three times, the first two parts, we move on to the other, to, uh, let me see, okay, let's just call this the last part because you can actually group it together, okay? So this last part, right hand goes like this, it goes B flat down to D, up to G, B flat, A, down to C, up to F, G, and then down to C, F, G, C, F, G, A, like that for the right hand. Right, so that's right hand for the last part. So a bit more notes here to learn, but I think you can handle it, okay? You can do it one more time for the right hand. So it goes B flat, D, G, B flat, A, C, F, G, C, F, G, C, F, G, A, like that for the right hand. Okay, so that's the right hand for the last part. Okay, so once you get that, this is kind of like the summing up part. Uh, the left hand, we have three chords here for this part. It goes G minor, which is G, B flat, D, followed by F major, which is F, A, C, and finished with E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. Okay, just like that. One more time. So it goes like this, together. Well, I guess G minor, and then F major, and E flat major. Okay, so the two hands together for this um, last part goes like this, okay, so it goes B flat and G minor together, so it goes together, A and F major together, after G, B flat major by itself, and not B flat major, E flat major, goes like this, and the right comes in, like that, one more time, so it goes like this, together, together, here, like that, okay, so after you do this last part, you actually restart it back to the start of the first part but also since we played this a for this last part we don't play the a again okay so i guess the a is only applying to the first part one the first time you play it okay so after so this after playing this last part goes back to first part Etcetera, okay, so it's actually pretty easy once you get the pattern to it, okay, but anyway Yeah, um, like since this is so repetitive you can actually do more like improvisational stuff to it You can like add like bass notes and stuff like fun to actually play around with it because it's actually um, it's only four chords if you think about it it's only four chords repeating itself and you can kind of like um, play around and make up all these different arrangements of it okay so you, I guess you can say you, you can make it at your own I guess but anyway as for now yeah hope you enjoy learning this tutorial of the songs pretty simple right once you get the patterns there and yeah go ahead and check out the cover and check out my other piano covers and tutorials on this channel I have over 2,000 of them for you to enjoy and learn from but anyway as for now enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.